Shadow Blasters have come a long way, but they don't quite make them like they used to. And I mean that legitimately, not as a disgruntled old man, because if you look at the old blasters, they're all wacky and wonderful, and you look at the new ones and they're all boring, milsim, cutting edge, bleh. And some of them are cool, but have you seen the 2017 lineup? I mean, that's gonna have to be its own video, because they're just so terrible so far from Nerf. And Busby, they've been kind of riding that wave. Some of their blasters are really good, and then they go really bad, and then they're really good again. And back in the, like, late 2000s, mid-2000s, some of their blasters were just ridiculously good. You had the first-gen Panthers and the Big Blast, and they were like $10, and they were amazingly powerful, and you could use them for any kind of warring applications, and then they had stuff like the Cougar and the Tech 6, which you could use for a spring, hence the Spring Donor 6 tag they get. And with Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at another blaster from the past to see what it could offer us in the present, and this time, we're taking a look at two blasters in the form of the Busby Ultimate System, or at least two parts of it. With the Ultimate Missile Blast, an air-powered rocket launcher that is well-loved in the community, and then the Ultimate Rapid Blast, which is a Busby Mech 12, Tommy 12 that fits on other blasters. It's pretty cool, okay? I mean, look at this. It's like the Unity Power System from Nerf, but way more aesthetically pleasing. I mean, the Unity Power System is really cool, but this looks like it's meant to be one blaster. I wouldn't forgive you if you thought right now. It's like, that thing's cool, Walcom. I bet I could use this sniping fools all day. I mean, look at it. It looks like it's meant to be one blaster, but it is, in fact, two different blasters. And while they do work independently from each other, you can combine them into one package. And they're both pretty decent with the ultimate missile blast being exceptionally good. Now this is, uh, there's only five blasters in this entire line. I, there was gonna be six and one of them didn't ever even get released, which was like a clip pistol. But the A part, which is missing right here, is like the sharpshooter or sharp shot or sharp sniper. It's a single pullback pistol, nobody cares. And also the ultimate tech 10, which again, I don't think anybody cares. So I don't really have anything on the top here, and besides you just have a pistol hanging off the top, which looks dumb. But the B part here is the Ultimate Missile Blast, which is a very powerful air blaster that is meant to shoot the rockets, and if you see something from Busby that's meant to shoot rockets, it's pretty much guaranteed to be awesome. But there was another B system blaster in the form of the Ultimate Barbarian! Yes, the good old Berserker Barbarian, whatever you want to call it, it's used under every, either one of those names, I've had multiples of each of them is a gigantic 20 dart rotating monstrosity with a rocket launcher built into the middle of it and two triggers and it was awesome can you tell how awesome it is by how excited i am i don't have that blaster i have barbarians but i don't have the ultimate barbarian and then on the bottom here in the c category this is the only c blaster ever released in the line and this is well it's a flywheel power blaster similar to the mech 12 or the tommy 12. It's a semi-automatic pistol kind of blaster that is flywheel powered and, uh, well, I mean, it's flywheels. Busby was really big on flywheels back in the day. I mean, if you look at stuff like the, you know, Ultimate Tommy 20, this was a little bit before Nerf was kind of doing stuff like that all that much. And now Nerf is all about them flywheels because it's cheap and efficient. And I mean, I'm not going to complain too much because they're relatively simple to mod once you get it down as opposed to, you know, putting springs together and having to put the entire blaster together to see if it works. You can actively test flywheel blasters that they're working on, so I kind of like them. But let's go over what these blasters are in their stock form, because in their stock form, they're still pretty much awesome. This is the Ultimate Missile Blast, and it's a rocket launcher that's air-powered, so you automatically know if you ever see one of these things, buy it, because it's gonna be good. I say that because I've bought like 12 of them over the years. However, this is the first one I've ever had where the whole plunger, the uh, pump back here, hasn't been completely broken. Now, if it is completely broken on yours, you can always replace the pump. That's not a big deal, but it's nice to have one in its original condition. And yes, it is. You got a grip right here. It's not the most comfortable grip ever because Busby never really figured out what's comfortable in a human hand. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's got this locking stuff down here that's meant for another blaster, and then the, of course, trigger right here, the pump right here, and then some buttons on the side that are meant to disengage other blasters if you put them in there, like what I just did. I press this button to remove the ultimate rapid blast, and at the top here, we've got the flat for shoving in a pistol, and this is laughably supposed to be a carry handle, but at this point, it might as well just be a sling. But, yeah! It's a rocket launcher. Now in here I have a demolisher rocket, and as you can see, 
fires it really good. Really, really good. This is really good right out of the box. And if you wanted to be as lazy as possible, and trust me, I have been, you can simply cut off the front of this thing right here, and a dart will fit perfectly in there, a streamlined dart, if you will. And it will fire them really, really hard, and it will break skin. I should know, because I brought one of these to Dart Wars, and one of the masochists there decided, hey, shoot me in the back with that thing, and I did, and it left lots of blood. It's awesome! Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that if your war doesn't allow it, and trust me, most wars don't, but as long as you don't have, you know, elite darts, you know, doing stupid stuff like singling these, they work pretty darn good. As a stock missile launcher, it's great. I mean, you can still get an XBZ or an Extreme Blast Nuke a lot easier than this thing, but this was found at a thrift store. All of the ones I've ever found were at thrift stores, and you can even still find them online if you look around, and they still have that really cool ability to lock other blasters in together. Now, if you saw Kieran's crazy Raven rocket launcher thing that was in the Pan War video, you would have noticed that he cut the top of this off and put it on another blaster so he could integrate a nerf blaster in here. That's one of the cool things is these systems, as long as you have the whole rail or at least the rail on the ultimate rapid blast here, you can cut all this off and put it on any blaster you wanted and pretty much fit right in here. So you can get pretty creative with it. And that leaves us with the rapid blast, which is uh, a little less good. Now, I have to say that because it's a 2010 flywheel blaster. The power isn't all there yet. And we're talking about when things like the whole barricade and whatnot were just kind of getting around and the old school Raven and then you get this. That being said, I like this thing a lot. In fact, I bought this. I, when I saw this blaster, it had to be about two years ago now. I took a picture of it and I asked Bobo, is it any good? Should I buy it? And it's like, ah, it's, it's four bucks. I'm going to buy it anyway. Cause it's like, look at this thing. It's like, it's the perfect size. You cut off this barrel right here. You've got a way smaller barricade that's way holsterable, at least a leg holster anyway. And on top of that, it holds, I think, two extra darts in my numbers. If I'm not confusing it, I think the barricade and the socket are only 10 dart cylinders. I could be completely wrong. It'll look like an idiot. So let me know down in the comment boxes below. But if I'm right, yeah, you cut this piece of useless plastic off and that's awesome. And it's flywheel based. So it is possible to replace the poopy bad motors with good ones and replace the three AA batteries with whatever you want, like a little tiny Zippo, Zippy battery LiPo if you wanted to. It's got a good trigger, it's a long trigger pull, and there is no rev switch, but thankfully because of how long the trigger pull is, you could definitely have a rev trigger that, you know, when you pull it's halfway and then when you fully fire it, releases the dart. The switch is right here on this orange thing, you slide that back and the anemic motors start up, and I have two Busby darts in here. This will only work, stock anyway, with Busby darts. If you try to shove streamlines in here, they're too long, they'll get caught in here. So, or right here in this bulbous area, all you'd have to do is dremel that out and it would work fine, but, I mean, this is bone stock, but even then, if we get this thing worked around, woo! I mean, it's not great. It's usable, but the max range is like 30 feet angle. Not terrible, and of course, these batteries are almost dead and you can just replace everything. So. If you're looking for a really cool little semi-auto pistol, it's gonna take some work, but I guarantee you nobody else is gonna have something like this. But of course the entire point is when you put these two together, it seems like one blaster. If you really want to have something to really wreck people, especially in like an HVZ scenario or whatnot, you've got your semi-auto blaster down here that you can easily top up. And I think even if you wanted to, you could add rear loading slots because that's all hanging out right there. So you can have a rear loading semi-auto flywheel blaster that's really comfortable and easy to use, except for it's gonna favor left-handed people a lot more. So here's one for you lefties, because of course the barrel right there spins this way. So you wanna reload on this side to top up as you go, because if you top up back here, it's gonna have to go all the way around. You get it. But you can easily have that, get some good power out of it with some modifications. And the top here, you can pump this up and you can have either your sniper shot, which you can have a breach and whatnot for, or even a hopper, or you can have a shotgun. And so you could just hold it like this and get all your shots off, and then if somebody's like, oh crap, I have to, boom, they're gone. And it doesn't even look bad. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look great, 
but it doesn't look bad. This thing's awesome. Why didn't they have like, why not make more stuff like this? This is great. Yes, they kind of kept the whole locking system after this line with the Air Warriors line with like the power lock system, but those things are just as bad as the Unity power system. They don't look good. They never look like they mesh together. This, man, that looks good. I would totally be that dude running in a war with this thing because it's just so cool. So, stock potential, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Mono potential's way up, uh, especially since it's an air blaster. And I like it a lot. I don't know if you can tell. Let me know what you think about the ultimate missile blast, ultimate rapid blaster, of course, the ultimate system in a nutshell, down in the comment box below. And if you like this kind of stuff and wish they would make more of it, hit that like button. And if not, there's a dislike button there for you as well. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in an entirely different one. And don't forget to check the description below because there's always information like, you know, fan mail addresses and stuff like that in there. I'm gonna go have some, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm gonna, I want to mod this so badly and keep this like this, I probably will, but I'm getting kind of tired of flywheel mods. Oh well. <laughs>